Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B. And first and foremost, I just want to apologize to y'all for not putting out any videos last week. I was gone away at a conference in Philadelphia and honestly, it just took up all of my time. I forgot to upload the videos before I left and I was going to attempt to upload them while I was there. But like I said, I was just crazy busy and really didn't even have time for myself, let alone to post videos to YouTube. But I am back with a video today. And in today's video, I'm going to be testing out some products, well, all but one product that I have never used before. And if you've been following me on Instagram, if you're not following me, you can find me on Instagram at so Link. It's the same as my YouTube channel, super easy to find. So go ahead and link your girl up. <laughs> but if you've been following me on Instagram, then you may remember me posting about working as a brand ambassador with Design Essentials. So while I was working the event, um, they did allow us to, you know, take some of the products home to try them out. So the products that I'm going to be using today are really focused on moisture, which is what my hair really needs, and also focused on helping to detangle your hair, which is also something my hair really needs. So the products I'm going to be using today are, um, well two of them are from the Moisture Magic Duo. This one is not from the natural hair care line, but I mean, you know, you can use it in your hair just because it doesn't say natural hair on it doesn't mean you can't use it. And really this um, kit claims to be very moisturizing and to help you maximize, you know, the amount of moisture that you get from your products. So the first product is the Honey Cream Moisture Retention Super Conditioning Detangling Shampoo. And this product is specifically for dry, dull, or damaged hair and it is supposed to um, help preserve moisture and gently cleanse and restore the needed moisture to dry or damaged hair. Also, it claims that it lathers quickly to help detangle and smooth the cuticles, leaving your hair feeling soft, silky, and full of body. The next product in the box is the Almond Butter Express Instant Moisturizing Conditioner. And this product is also for dry, brittle hair, and it says that it quickly delivers intense moisture for weightless, silky, smooth hair. Now, I'm just going to start by washing my hair, and I am going to wash it on camera today. <laughs> I'm going to start by washing and conditioning my hair, and then I will move into the styling products once I get to that portion of the video. This particular shampoo, y'all, actually reminds me of the hair salon from when I used to get my hair done. <laughs> oh, and when I had relaxed hair, it just brings back so many memories. So this is the consistency of the shampoo. I mean, it's like, you know, normal shampoos. It has like a golden, golden-ish tint to it. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Start by really cleansing my scalp. I feel like that is the part of my hair that needs like the most love right now. So it definitely lathers very quickly. This is probably the quickest lather that I've experienced from a shampoo to be quite honest. So it actually that is, does seem to be doing a pretty good job with detangling my hair, which is great because usually I don't detangle my hair when I have shampoo in it. But since this one did claim to be a detangling shampoo, like I am just gently, um, you know, detangling my hair a little bit. I'll go more in depth with the detangling once I start conditioning my hair. But this shampoo is doing a really good job of detangling. The other nice thing about this shampoo is that literally, this is all of the shedding that I've experienced. Never have I ever <laughs> had that little shedding while shampooing my hair. So that is already like a really good sign. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rinse this out now. Okay, so after rinsing out the shampoo, this is the amount of hair. Sorry, it's kind of shampoo-y, so. <laughs> but this is the amount of hair that ended up shedding. Still not much at all relative to what I usually experience. So that shampoo, y'all, was actually really good. My hair felt so soft and it does definitely feels clean as you can see my scalp is clean 
um so yeah let's go ahead and do condition my hair so i'm just gonna part my hair into four parts this time usually like i'll do smaller parts than that but today i'm gonna just start with four parts and then go from there so my hair is super easy to um detangle and comb through so that is perfect because my hair was so tangled like i wish y'all could have tried attempted to run your fingers through it before um i washed it and started detangling it let's see okay that one doesn't have it so the conditioner i don't know it has a fragrance but it's not like super you know fragrancy <laughs> is not strong at all so this is what it looks like it just looks like your ordinary conditioner and now i'm just gonna apply it to my hair really focusing on the ends and if anyone can tell me why i focus on my ends first whenever i apply products like conditioner or moisturizers and work my way up and why i really focus on my ends i'll shout you out in my next video this conditioner doesn't have much slip like at all um honestly i kind of don't feel like i even put anything in my hair like that's why i keep adding stuff like adding more and more conditioner because it makes me feel like a styling moisturizer like it, to me it feels like a styling moisturizer than it does a conditioner um yeah i mean it's super easy to run my fingers through my hair i'm able to finger detangle as some of you may know i actually don't really care for finger detangling too much i usually use my tangle teaser but um i don't know where it is right now so we're just gonna finger detangle today but yeah it is making it pretty easy again i think it may be because i also use a shampoo but it is very easy to detangle my hair and like to work the product in but like I said, it definitely doesn't feel like a conditioner. Like I'm used to my conditioners having like a lot of slip and this one just doesn't. And if you ever get to a point where you have a knot like this in your hair, do not continue to pull it like this. Actually, if you pull your hair down, you see how easy that just came apart? Like, so if you pull it down on the tangle, then usually that can be very helpful with um, detangling it. So if you ever come to a point where you have a knot, you can't get your fingers through, don't just rip through your hair because that's what causes your hair to get ripped out. So I'll show you again, like with this part right here, there's a knot right here. If you just pull it down on the knot and kind of work it, um, through see so easy then you will get through that tangle without ripping your hair off all right so on the back of the conditioner it does say to leave it on for five minutes so now that i've you know pretty much detangled my hair i'm gonna go ahead and just twist this section up and then do the same for the rest of my hair and then leave it on for the five minutes this is the amount of hair that shed. This is from washing and conditioning and detangling my hair throughout the process. This is the amount of hair. Honestly, I don't personally think it's that much. Um, it's definitely less than what I usually experience. And please remember that I have not done anything to my hair in probably about like a week-ish, week and a half a period of time for me to only like experience that amount of shedding slash you know breakage or whatever i feel like that's not a lot um so now that i have applied the conditioner all over my hair i am going to wait the five minutes and then i will rinse it out um, but i do want to say that this conditioner i had to use like a lot of it i don't know i'll probably get like maybe one one and a half more uses out of it and it's only because i think that it didn't have as much slip as you know i'm used to so i feel like i had to keep adding more and more and more product to my hair um but yeah so that's probably like my only other that's like my only downfall my only drawback from using the product or purchasing the product personally um i do think that it did do a really good job in conjunction with the shampoo of detangling my hair as you can see or maybe not i don't know um, I did detang finger detangle my hair throughout the whole process, which is something that I never do. I never 
um, skip using my tangle teaser but I did not use it to detangle my hair this time so for that to be something that I, I personally have done that's an accomplishment like that is a straight up achievement so I definitely gotta give it its props <laughs> for allowing me to detangle my hair without using my tangle teaser but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling now I'll be back in about five to ten minutes this is what my hair looks like after I finish washing and conditioning it um I mean it looks very frizzy I don't know if it's just because I mean sometimes my hair does look frizzy you know because they're very really light color but yeah I don't know if I'm a fan of that conditioner only because I felt like like the ends of my hair particularly feel a little dry still like it does not have that moisture that it claims to have and actually my hair felt silkier when I had the shampoo in my hair and when I rinsed that out compared to when I had the conditioner in my hair and rinsed it out so yeah I don't know what that's about but I mean my hair is very well detangled I can easily separate my hair right now which sometimes is a struggle but I mean those products made it so easy to detangle my hair especially finger detangle my hair I mean in the back of my hair my curls are on point like it definitely has you know my curls looking really nice the front of my hair not so much but it's all good we're just gonna move right along so the style that I'm choosing to do today is like a flat twist with perm rods at the end I've never actually done this style before of course I've done flat twists before but I haven't done them with the rods at the end so I'm gonna give that a try um, and to do that style I'm going to use a little bit of the almond and avocado the tangling leave-in conditioner and this product pretty much is just supposed to help penetrate your hair quickly to soften and smooth the cuticle and help again to detangle your hair so I want to make sure that my hair is well detangled um, when I do the style and it's supposed to also help with frizz control and then also I'm going to try out the almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse so I've seen a lot of people use mousse to actually do like their perm rod sets flexi rod sets um, and flat twist styles but I've never personally used the mousse so I'm going to give it a try and see how it works for moi and then yeah I mean you know obviously my hair ain't going to be dry today so I'm about to come back on tomorrow when I take my hair down but nonetheless let's go ahead and get into this style before I do though I am going to um, give myself a nice scalp massage I'm trying to get better with you know actually massaging my scalp with a good hair oil before I do any style and really just throughout the week just to make sure that my scalp stays stimulated and to help promote you know hair growth and things of that nature and to just keep my hair and my scalp in check so I'm gonna just give myself a scalp massage real quick my scalp is nice and massaged it's feeling good feeling great so now I'm just gonna start um, with the styling process and I think I kind of want to give myself some type of bang possibly also something I've never done before so I'm just gonna part my hair so that when I take out the um, style then it'll be how it needs to be now the detangling leave-in conditioner I actually have used before and I really do like it uh, it works very well in my hair and it also has a very soft scent to it. It really doesn't smell like almond or avocado to me, but it does smell really good and the scent is very soft. So I'm just gonna take a very small amount because I don't want my hair to be, um, take too long to dry. So I'm not gonna go like crazy um, with this product. Yeah, who am I kidding? I know I needed a little bit more than that. <laughs> So I do have my den, well, it's not a real denman brush, but my faux denman brush that I got from my beauty supply store. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm getting out any of the tangles that I may have missed when I finger detangled. All right, now I'm going to use the um, curl enhancing mousse. And let's see. Okay, cool, yeah, you can air dry. You don't have to shake it or anything, but when you pump it out... Of course, it comes out like a foam. I mean, that's what a mousse is. A mousse is a foam. So I'm just going to apply this to my hair. Ooh, this feels good. I've never used this one before, so this product before. So, oh, yeah, this product feels so good on my hair. Definitely enhances your curls. I feel like I could definitely use this product for a wash and go. Like, it has my curls just looking so nice. Anyway, though, I'm going to go ahead and start the flat twist. And then I'm going to take the size orange 
perm rods. I have no idea what size these are, but I am going to just uh, wrap it around my hair. So before I move on, um, yeah, so y'all know how I said I used this leave-in detangler before. So I actually used it before I got my hair color treated. And back then, I felt like it just worked like, yes, okay? I felt like as soon as I put it in my hair, like my hair, the notch just melted like butter. But now that my hair is color treated, I find that it's reacting a little differently to the leave-in detangler i don't know maybe it's just because my i haven't really been doing anything to my hair lately and it just i don't know maybe i just need to use more product but i don't really want to use more product because i gotta put the mousse in my hair and i don't want it to take too long to dry but i don't know there's something about this detangler that is just not working as well in my hair as it did before i finished putting all of the flat twists and perm rods in my hair I would be lying if I said I'm not nervous as how my hair is going to turn out. Like I said, I've never done this style before. I don't really use perm rods because I don't really feel comfortable using them because I don't know how to use them correctly. So yeah, we just going to hope for the best. I'm going to cross my fingers and please y'all do the same. And let's hope that my hair actually turns out decent when I take it out tomorrow. So the next day, y'all, I just had a feeling that my hair was going to be a complete fail. It was not dry all of the way despite letting it air dry for over 24 hours. And it just didn't have the definition that I was going for. My hair is a fail, Christopher. I know why though. However, after showing my husband, adding my edge control, and fluffing my hair out a bit, it actually turned out better than I expected. Definitely let me know your opinions down in the comment section, and if you have any tips on how to perfect a perm rod set, let me know that as well. With that being said, y'all, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.